Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you've all had a good week and managed to get snapping whenever you can on a walk or whatever on an exercise. But um, still in lockdown, obviously. But we are a week closer now, so March the 8th is, is coming pretty quick. Can't wait. Hopefully they're going to relax the, the rules a bit and we can, we can get out again and I can get out vlogging again. But um, anyway, for the time being, it's another video from uh, the spare room. But, um, and this week it's going over old sets and, and you know, having a second look at images that you've looked over in the past. And I've got a bad habit of doing that. And um, I belong to a, a little landscape group on Instagram. Uh, there's about 10, 12 of us guys on there. And we were chatting just last week about Wisman's Wood down in Dartmoor. Lovely gnarly small oaks and whatever and moss covered boulders. And it prompted me to look back over my set. I, I come off the chat and I thought, I'll just go have a, have a look and just see if I've got any images that I've overlooked. And obviously for Wismans, you want a lovely atmosphere, lots of mist. And I did actually, I was lucky enough on, on the second day of my trip down there, sort of last year, I think it was last October time. Um, I'll put a link to the, the, the vlog up here. Um, yeah. I did manage to get some mist. And so when I got home that day, or when I got home from the trip down to Dartmoor, I quickly sort of channeled my editing to the images with the mist. And this image here that I've got on the screen, absolutely no mist whatsoever. And because I was looking for that mist, I totally dismissed this frame. And I found it last week and I come across it and I thought, you know, it's quite a good composition. I've done well to find that sort of composition, tight and twist, no sky in it at all, lots of depth to it, but no mist. And I thought, I've, 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 I can probably use the dehaze tool, uh, work on a couple of different layers. And uh, I managed to take it from this image here that's on the screen now, I'll just, I'll just uh, maximize that. So there it is. So as you can see, there is a lot of depth to it but there's obviously no mist, so there's no separation. Anyway, I had a good look at it and a good work on it, and I managed to edit it to this image. Obviously, I've used several different layers. It is a bit, it is a bit soft here, a bit blurry. I don't know why, but um, anyway, I've obviously used the dehaze tool on one layer, and then I've rubbed out that dehaze on the foreground branches or trunks, I've used a vignette, taken the highlights down, lowered the colours, you know, I've done lots of editing to it. It's quite a well-processed image, but it, but just over, a, I think it's about half an hour or an hour, I've managed to sort of salvage, well not salvage, work it into a nice frame. And I popped it on Instagram uh, last week and it was quite well received. So I'm pleased I, I overlooked it. Uh, I overlooked it. I'm pleased I went back into the set and looked at it and it just goes to prove that you know my eye on that day when I got back I went straight to the the images or the, the frames with the mist and because it was a bright image and I just totally dismissed it and a bit of a one-track mind really so yeah my advice would be to definitely have a look at old sets and see if you can see if you can edit any more images so yeah, I'm really chuffed with this. Um, I say this, uh, it was probably about an hour's editing, I should think. But um, yeah, so another image saved, uh, worked on and saved from the Wisman's trip. Right, here's a second image that I've overlooked. And again, I went out this morning, obviously for God's rays, for the sun rays. But for some reason, I got so transfixed with one area that was really giving me some fantastic rays. So again, when I got home, I went straight to them images, edited them, was really happy with them. And, and then because I was busy and quite, quite lucky really, back down in the new forest where, where I've just moved from, I could get out most days in between lockdowns uh, with the forest being right on my doorstep. So I know what I did this day, a, a bit like the Wisman's trip. I got home, I edited the images that I remembered were, were exactly the right composition and what I wanted, and then obviously got on with, with the rest of the day's work and whatever, dismissed the rest of the set, and then went out the following day and obviously shoot, you know, shot another set. And I've just gone back and looked over this one. Now, as you can see, some lovely rays, but obviously a lot of foreground and a lot of sky. And so just in, in over a sort of half an hour again, 
I managed to, let's just minimize that. I managed to get this out of it. Again, a bit of a crop, a vignette, a bit of dehaze. I have worked on, on the razor bit. I've emphasized the razor bit. Took a little bit of sheen and a bit of highlights out of the leaves and I've managed to get this image and uh, again, really happy with it. And somewhere I have got a bit of a screen record. Let's see if we can find the screen record for this one. Here we are, look. Let's have a look at this. So if I just maximize that and then just take it through, you can you can basically see that, oh, it's over a minute, I'll just fast forward it a bit. But So there's the crop straight, let's just move this box. So there's the crop. A bit of, I've took the colours down again, took the saturation down, popped a bit of blue tone in there. And then obviously I'm working in a layer now. And as you can see, there's the first where I've just emphasised the rays a bit. Some might call it cheating. I call it adding the atmosphere. But uh, yeah, so I've added the rays there. You can see the, the rays. All I've done is just used Lumenzia and I've just used a white highlight brush at about 50% opacity and just put highlights, a few more highlights into the rays. There we can see it, look. And I think that was about, oh, there's adding the vignette. Let's make this a bit bigger. There we go, look. If I do that, that's right. So, oh, it's playing again now. So let's just get control of that. So another layer. Just looking at the tone. So if we go back again, so there we are, look. So I've added a bit more, gone into another layer here, added them, you know, just played with the tones in the in the the rays again. And there we go. So let's just take it back. There we are. I'm just trying to see where I added the vignette. So as you can see, that's where so the vignette has been added, and it's just took the, the highlights off the top right hand corner there, look, just nice enough. You can still see where the sun's coming from. The angles of the rays obviously give that away. But yeah, so managed to sal salvage that. And uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know why I overlooked it for some reason. But anyway, let's just get rid of that. Thank you very much. And we'll just put that one back up again. So that's the before. Obviously lots of foreground here. I probably cropped into there, I should think about there. And then let's just do there. And that's the after. And managed to salvage another moody scene. So, yeah. Oh dear. And it's, it's something that I'd highly I you know advise why it's worth going back over your sets. Yeah, so only a quick video today, guys, but hopefully, hopefully that's um highlighted my errors and errors that I hope you guys don't make, but if you have sort of dismissed a set and you've got the images that you want, that you've picked, you know, you've got back, you've done your image processing, you've edited them extra special images, but you've perhaps dismissed other images, it's always worth going back and having a look. And um, I'm certainly gonna try and slow down a bit now. I mean, obviously, back, back in between lockdown two and three, I was fortunate enough, I had the new forest right on my doorstep, I'd go out with a specific frame in mind. You know, most of the time I was lucky enough to capture it, get back, process that image, be really happy with it, and then I'd get on with my day, you know, my afternoon chores or whatever. I'd leave that set behind and then I'd, I'd, I'd be setting my sights on the following days, you know, the, mor the morning after to go out again and get a different frame again. And, you know, day after day after day, a lot of these images have sat here that I've not really thought about. I've captured them, but I've not thought about them because they weren't specific to what I wanted. And it just goes to show the the, uh, the the God's rays image, the the sun the sunbeams, and uh, and especially Wisman's wood. You know, I was I was really annoyed with myself that I'd, I'd ignored that image and, and left it simply because it didn't have the mist with it. But you know, with a bit of a bit a bit of post processing, sort of three quarters of an hour or so. I've turned it into quite a nice image, image that I'm happy with, and uh, yeah, a bit frustrated that I'd ignored that. But um, yeah, so lesson learned. So hopefully, guys, you might be able to go back into your sets and try and you know try and work on a few other images that you perhaps forgot about, and and strengthen that set from whatever trip you've been on. So yeah, hopefully you've uh, enjoyed that, guys, and um, <laughs> certainly a bit of a wake up call to uh, perhaps just slow down a bit and go through your set thoroughly edit those images that are the special ones that you know you've captured, 
but just take a bit of time and, and look at the, the rest of the, the set that you've taken. But um, I'm certainly going to try and do that from now on. So, you know, I've missed out on quite a few images there. And there are, there are other images that I've found this week as well, because once I went into that Wisman set, and found that, I thought, crikey, I bet you I've got others as well, and I had. You know, I went for a, the day that uh, Steve and I filmed the, the R5 video, we went for a quick walk around until it got dark, and um, I found an image from that trip as well that I've since reworked on, and um, quite like it. I've actually got it here somewhere, let's have a look. It's a really dark, moody image, but there we are, it's just on the screen now. Quite a dark, moody image. Obviously, I've given this a bit of a vignette, um, highlighted the area at the end of the footpath, but it's this, this gnarly oak and this oak branch coming over and then just highlighted the branches on this. And again, this was quite a flat, a, a flat image that I've managed to highlight certain branches and made it really atmospheric and really moody. Not to everyone's taste, but um, I quite like it. It's something a bit different. Obviously, there's a bit of sky in there still and it's a bit unbalanced, but... It's just one of them, another image that um, that I've dismissed. So uh, yeah, I've, I've, and I've found other images as well this week. But um, yeah, so always good to look back on your images. Anyway, I'm rabbiting on as usual. If you could remember to give the video a thumbs up, guys, that'd be much appreciated. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and that notification bell to uh, let you know when the next video's out. And um, yeah, jobs are good. Un. So hopefully you can go back on your old sets, guys. If, if like me, you've, you've perhaps dismissed a few, and hopefully you can find a few, a few more images to pop into post-process and, uh, and make them a bit better. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a great week. Catch up next Sunday. Take care. See you soon.